What's up, guys? So Atlas Empires released a day early here in America. We are on the live servers, and now let's talk about how you want to progress. We talked about this a little bit before, but the live server is a little bit different. So there's a patch, and from the beta to the live server, there's some changes. First up, you want to click on your character profile, the portrait up there, and you want to make sure that you're doing all of these quests. So this says use a calling card and three of four have been completed. And once we do that, we're gonna complete this and get a treasure chest. So let's go ahead and do that right now. We're gonna click on the world button. And to use a calling card, it's in your items, your inventory. And you click on card caller. This is gonna apply a card dealer to any location that you want around you. So you can see we can build it right there. And the cool thing about this is that everybody in the same vicinity can actually use this car dealer. This car dealer appears on everyone's world map for 30 minutes. So, you know, my wife's account, my account, we can all use this car dealer. Anybody that's in this area can use this. So you want to coordinate with people that are nearby. You want to get your friends to play. You want to have, you know, spouses playing. And you want to just work together as a team to utilize these resources. So we're going to go ahead and collect our cards because the first one's free. The second one's very cheap, 25, 35, 50 gold. And uh, we're just going to spend some of our gold here. One of the big changes that happened on the live server is that the treasures and the hammers and the spells, they all appear to refresh every 12 hours and they do randomly spawn in somewhat different locations so there's all pretty much always going to be something for you to find in your neighborhood whereas before it was a 24 hour one time chest there get it okay 24 hours it will pop back up now with this new mechanic of about every 12 hours there's kind of random respawns of items and loot you always have something to do so we walked today twice uh, the same kind of area same loop around our block and we were able to get different items because you know the, the time period had reset. I don't know exactly when the reset period is. I uh, probably assume it's the 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, probably on the UTC time. So that's something that you want to do. You also do want to have, so this is the thing, outposts. We didn't really talk about these yet, but outposts are special buildings that you can place on the world map. And anyone can give eagle tokens to them and participate. The more people that give eagle tokens, the more tokens that are in the outpost at the time expiration dates will unlock more treasure chests. So even just by donating one card, one eagle token to the outpost, you can get a reward. So that's what we're doing right now because we don't have enough eagle tokens on any accounts. Like to get eagle tokens, you need to go into your base and you need to sacrifice cards. So you go to the Eagle Temple and you click on Gift and you can see you have your cards here. And so you go ahead and be like, I don't want the Ram. And you go ahead and sacrifice the Ram to the Eagle and that will get you 40 Eagle tokens. And you can do that with any card. Each card has a different value associated with it. So, for example, the Axeman is only one worth one. The Archers, I believe, are only worth one as well. If you want to delete like I'm doing, you just click this minus button. So the Archers were two. The Raiders were two. The Golems were six. The Rams were five. And so, on this account, the Globes were six. We don't have, uh, you know, many troops unlocked because we just started the game. So we don't have a lot of cards either because we've just started the game. But over time, you'll get a lot of these cards and you'll be sacrificing the ones that you don't want to upgrade. The ones you do want to upgrade, you go to the training ground. You click on train and you can see it requires two cards to level up a troop. But it also requires a book of training. This book is a very rare drop out of the treasure chest in the world or you get it out of those outposts. So essentially, you're gonna be getting a lot of cards because there's a lot of, of witches, card dealers out in the world. 
you're going to collect those cards and then you're going to turn them into eagle tokens you're going to turn those eagle tokens into the outpost and you're going to hope that you get these upgrade books so you can upgrade your troops that you want you're going to end up having way too many cards but not enough of those books those books are very very rare and very valuable thankfully it only takes one and even at higher levels it looks like it still only took one to upgrade your troop so if you want to upgrade certain troops you really got to pick and choose because you're not going to have enough of these books even as a paying player you can find them in the shop and the daily deals you can see we picked up one over here and i believe it was uh 25 runes right now the prices will change on this the items in here will change on this so it's not always going to be 25 runes but that's how we gotten three on this account we got some lucky treasure chest and we got one from the shop right there so those are the things that you're going to want to be buying because uh, look we can already train our troops we can train our troops up really high but we don't have enough of these book of trainings we only have three of them so we have to be very selective and on this account i don't necessarily know which ones i want to upgrade yet I'm probably just going to hold off on them um because archers are good but I think I want to just hold off until I get the Tempest and upgrade the Tempest because the Tempest is overall just generally a better version of the Archer. So it's like, uh, I think I can hold out for a day or two, save up my resources and then upgrade the Tempest once I unlock her and have a lot of extra cards for her. You know, you could also just upgrade the Axeman, be like, hey, better meat shield, better attack. Totally fine. But I'm not really a fan of that i mean i might par personally upgrade the gloob because uh, I, I like the glub he's just fun but yeah there's just so much choices and it's like you don't know which ones to upgrade at this moment you want to see how the bases start being uh, built how other players bases are constructed so you know what troops are more efficient you might also want to wait for you know the rare or quote-unquote higher level troops so yeah, so that is it. The game is launched. You can check it out on the iOS store or the Google Play store. I will talk to you guys later. We're going to go jump to a battle here. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, post them down below in the comment section. We will be making a guild um, for California because currently there's nobody in California that has guilds available. It does cost 500 of the runes, so we are saving up on our account so we can do that. And yeah, anyone is open to join that. You don't have to be in California, but that's kind of how they break it up. They break it up by like state for America. Um, so they recommend that you play with people in your own state, which you want to be close proximity. So it works in other states and smaller states is great because you're going to be fairly close to other people. But in California, it's so big that like maybe we'll have like a San Diego guild and hope for hopefully like the game will pick up in San Diego. We have a whole bunch of San Diego people. Uh, but, you know, beggars can't be choosers right now. There's not that many people playing. So we'll see. Day one hasn't even officially started. It starts uh, in about an hour or two. Officially, the game was supposed to launch. But, uh, yeah, it snuck into the App Store earlier today. And, yeah, go download it. Go check it out. It's free to play. I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.